All right, today's brain drops is I'm not going to make you read this whole thing because okay. I only read half of it, admittedly. <laughs> but this is an argument that we've talked about a few times when we talk about climate change that I don't think is made enough, which is we will long term save money by trying to curb it now and also adapt for it. So let's go to the graph if we can, Isaac. And so it, this whole study is about what are things we can do and how much, what's the return on that versus what it will cost to do it. And one of them is infrastructure resiliency. And we've talked a little bit about this. So many cities are along uh, the coastline here. So you can either deny the obvious that it's, it is happening or you can start working on infrastructure. And that also creates jobs. So it's not, you know, people have to help build this stuff. And then you have uh, protecting mangroves. This is actually, this protects a lot of residents from flooding. So the more you can protect those forests, the more you can keep erosion at bay and whatnot. And I think this is an underutilized argument because there's this thought that it's either save the environment or help the economy. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that that's the They're case. In fact, exclusive. I think you save a lot of money in the long term. And here's a perfect example. This was from the Department of Defense 2019 when the official stance of the cabinet was global warming is not a real thing. Their whole report is how to keep the military working with climate change. Mm -hmm. So it acknowledges the whole thing when the money is on the line there are ways to do this in a way that everybody is kind of happy. So just something I don't think people talk about that mm -hmm. enough. They think, no. it, oh, either it's economy or, or environment. It just doesn't have to be that way. Good dinner table discussion yeah. material right there.